Hey everyone, and welcome back to another under $5 eShop deals video. Where each week we go through the eShop and we pick out which should be the best deals available for less than $5. Now just as usual, quick reminder, I don't go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video. However, it's linked up above. Always recommended you check out those deals because most of them do last more than 7 days. As usual, we'll also be doing a $5 eShop gift card giveaway. All you need to do is drop a comment down below in this video and you'll be automatically entered in that giveaway. Now today we have a list of just over 25 games to look at, so we're going to get started. Just remember that if you do like the content, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Now first today, we're starting with a complete series that is on sale, so these are four games in the series. The Deponia series that is currently 90% off, dropping the price to only $1.99. Now these four games are point and click adventures, very reminiscent of the Monkey Island series, mixing beautiful cartoon like visuals with doses of humor and puzzles to solve. The games will offer you each about 10 hours of gameplay apiece, and I really do find the series picks up steam getting better and better with each entry. Now next we have Lumo that still has 4 days left on its sale, with its price dropped by 90% for only $1.99. Now Lumo is a room based 3D puzzle platformer and let me tell you that although it can become challenging it is extremely rewarding. It also offers over 400 rooms with tons of secrets to unlock. Now this game will give you at least 5 hours or more of gameplay so once again at $2 it is a good investment. Now next on the list we have Flashback that is back to 90% off for only $1.99. Now this is the complete remaster of a really classic 2D action adventure game. Since it came out in 1993, it is a very challenging type of gameplay, however they have added a ton of modern features to really help you get a boost up in this game, such as the rewind feature that will allow you to take back mistakes, and also tutorials to help you out and learn about the gameplay. Now next on the list we have a returning favorite with Earth Atlantis that is back to 86% off, once again dropping the price to only $1.99. Now this is a underwater themed side scrolling shooter, and as you can see on screen what is its main attraction is its beautiful almost hand drawn like visuals. And on top of it it has some really solid gameplay having you adventuring around, fighting huge bosses, and just overall some really solid gameplay. At $2, this game is a must-have. Now next, we also have the Vasara collection that is 80% off, once again, dropping the price to $1.99. Now, I actually just did a gameplay highlight for this game on the channel. You can check that out separately with over 10 minutes of gameplay included, but this is a collection of three shoot-'em-ups two classic arcade ports from Japan, and one HD port with 3D rendered sprites. But all of these games have really hardcore shooter action, at the same time with some really friendly elements that you can work your way through the two classic games, even if you're new to shoot 'em ups Now our next game is at a brand new low price with Savage Halloween at 60% off for $1.99. Now this is a game that I originally tried at its $5 price point and even at that price it had actually quite surprised me with some really solid 2D platforming shooter fun. Overall it really feels like a mix of Metal Slug although with more focus on the platforming rather than the shooting but if I thought it was worth it at $5 at $2 this game is a definite steal. Now next on the list we have Moto Rush GT that is back to 87% off, once again still at the price point of $1.99. Now this is an arcade style motorcycle racer with really over the top action. I say it every time, at its full price of $15 to $16 I would not be recommending this game, but at $2 for some nice pick up and play fun for time to time, Moto Rush GT I find is really worth it. Now for our next game we're still at that $1.99 price point with Zeo Rifter that is back on sale at 80% off. Now Zeo Drifter is really a micro metroidvania. By micro I mean that you can generally complete the game in about 3 hours if you're used to this type of gameplay. However at the same time with its beautiful pixel art and its really solid mechanics Zeo Drifter is a game that I enjoyed nonetheless and especially picking it up at $2 I do find you get your money's worth. Now our next game is going to be Miles and Kilo, once again 75% off at a price point of $1.99. Now 
Now, this is a fast paced 2D action platformer, very much in line with its predecessor Kit Trip. However, this game makes it more approachable with the ability to turn off the auto runner part of the design and approach it more like a traditional 2D platformer. Overall, this game offers great visuals, solid gameplay, and at $2, at least three hours of fun to be had here. Now, the next game to take a look at will be Spooky Chase that is currently 60% off. Once again, we're still at the price point of $1.99. Now this is actually a game I did a mini review on on the channel that offers a new take once again on the auto runner type of gameplay, giving you various objectives and also basically upping the challenge level with arena style gameplay. Overall, if you like auto runners and you're looking for something a little different, check out Spooky Chase at $2, it's definitely worth taking a chance on. Now our next game will really be one of my top picks for this week. We have Grizzland that is back to 60% off for only $1.99. Now this is another game that I'm really glad is on sale this week, and it's another micro metroidvania, basically a metroidvania you can probably clear out in about 3-4 to four hours, yet with its Atari-like visuals and really solid gameplay, you'll get 2-3 to three hours of great gameplay fun, and at $2, it is another one of those must-have games. Now our last game at the $1.99 price point will be Charge Kid that is back to 20% off. Now this is another game I fully reviewed on the channel. It is a hardcore puzzle platformer where each and every stage will take you at least a dozen tries to complete, starting as soon as the third stage. So if you like grueling puzzle platformers that really reward you in a challenging way, Charge Kid is a definite pickup and a total steal at only $2. Now our next game, now at the $2 price point because it is 80% off, we have Death Ray Manta SC. Now this is a visually stunning arena style twin stick shooter. And as I said, at $10, there are maybe some better ones out there, but when you pick this up at $2, if you enjoy challenging arena style gameplay, Death Ray Manta is an excellent game to be picking up. Now our next entry is going to be Void Gore that is currently 50% off at $2.49. Now Void Gore is an endless top-down shoot-em-up with a really gritty retro style to it. This is another one of those shoot-em-ups that even at $5 I would say was worth a decent investment if you're into the hardcore style of gameplay. However, if you're not used to bullet hells and really difficult shoot 'em ups, I would say stay away from this one for this week and pick up rather Vasara Collection. However, nonetheless, at $2.49, for hardcore fans, I really find this one is a good pickup. Now next, we have another one of my top picks for this week, with Rogue Aces that is currently 80% off, dropping its price to $2.59. Now this game is a combat flight sim with procedurally generated levels. You'll basically be assigned missions where you'll sometimes have to fight enemy planes, knock out buildings, or even land-based vehicles. Overall, this game doesn't look like much on the surface, but it is amazing how many game modes there are and how much fun you can get from this game. If you're looking for sort of a game to take a chance on for this week, Rogue Aces should definitely be it. Now the next game is another returning favorite of mine with Radio Squid that is back to 45% off, dropping the price to only $2.74. Now if you follow the channel, you know that I love games that emulate the old Game Boy or Game Boy Color style, and Radio Squid is among one of the best of these types of games. You'll have over 24 levels to explore in this game and a beautiful monochrome pixel art style that is just one of a kind. The only sort of downside to this game is that there isn't enough of it. You'll be able to finish the game probably once again in around 3 hours, but at $2.74 you're getting your money's worth. Now next on the list we have a game making a first appearance, which is Runbow that is currently 80% off for $2.99. Now this is a game that was actually suggested by a viewer just yesterday, so I picked it up and my kids were looking for something new to try out, so we had tons of fun with it last night. And at $3 for a party game, I say this one is definitely worth it. But what also pushed it over the edge and really surprised me is there is a ton of one player content as well, so this game really is a steal at $3. 
Now our next game is another one that I tried out just this week and that I was actually pleasantly surprised with, with Strikey Sisters that is 70% off for only once again $2.99. Now once again this is a really original take on the classic Brick Breaker style of gameplay. On top of it once again it is a game that is perfect for co-op play. With three difficulty modes this game offers a lot of replayability as well. On top of it, there's a free downloadable demo on the eShop if you want to try it out for yourself. Not necessarily a game I would recommend at $10, but at $3, it feels just right. Now our next game is going to be Mystopia that is currently 35% off, dropping the price to $3.24. Now this is yet another game that I reviewed on the channel, and it is a 2D action platformer with some very slight Metroidvania elements. Now, if you're looking for a laid-back platforming experience, I would say Maristopia is perfect for that. It's also perfect for easing someone into the Metroidvania genre that have never played one before and that doesn't want too many difficult puzzles or too vast of an environment to adventure in. Now, next, we have another new entry with Sun Wukong vs. Robot that is 30% off, dropping the price to $3.49. That seems to be a theme this week, but this is a yet another mini Metroidvania that you can probably knock out in about 3-4 to four hours. However, I would say that this is the most challenging of the Metroidvanias that we've looked at so far. However, it has a really interesting character building mechanic, where even if you're finding the game challenging, if you basically grind enough, you'll eventually get the abilities and the power to finish the game no matter what your skill level is. However, I had tons of fun with this game, even at its short gameplay style, and at $3.49, once again, I find it was a perfectly fitting game for its price. Now, our next game is another top game to pick up with Blossom Tales The Sleeping King at 75% off for only $3.74. Now, Blossom Tales is very reminiscent of a top-down Zelda game, all the way down to the dungeon designs and even some of the puzzles. However, it really clones the game in an original and interesting way where it is really worth a playthrough. Only thing, once again, this game is maybe not as long as a standard Zelda game, being able to be knocked out in probably under 10 hours, it nonetheless is really worth the adventure. On top of it, it offers once again a free downloadable demo if you want to try it out. Now next on the list, we have Iro Hero that is also a new entry to the series that is 70% off for $3.89. Now this is another top-down shooter, however this one, rather than leaning only on the bullet hell mechanic, leans more on a puzzle slash obstacle type mechanic. Overall, if you're looking for a fresh style of gameplay in the top-down shoot-em-up genre, you can pick up Iro Hero for a new experience. Only thing, it is a very challenging game, so make sure you're up to the challenge before picking it up. Now our next game is the amazing Crypt of the Necro Dancer that is still 80% off at only $3.99. Now this is a game that I will mention each and every time it's on sale, it is just that good. It is a roguelite dungeon crawler set to a rhythm based gameplay. Even if you're not into rhythm games because normally it is not my preferred type, this one definitely needs to be tried because there is a ton to love here and it is an overall great, great pickup. Now our last couple of games will only have about a dozen hours left when I post this video, so if you want to pick them up, make sure to act fast. The first of those two games will be Hotshot Racing that is currently 75% off at $4.99. Now, I mentioned this game in my weekend video, it is just that good. Hotshot Racing is basically the mix, I would say, of an arcade racer with a kart style racer. Overall, tons of fun to be had here. Only thing to know is that there is a fair bit of rubber banding in this game. So if you're a very competitive person, you have to know that the races are going to stay tight till the very finish line. Now the last game on our list that only has, as I said, about a dozen hours left is Velocity 2X that is still right now 75% off for $4.99. Now at the $5 price point, this is overall one of my favorite games to suggest. It basically blends a top-down shooter with a 2D action platformer. But what is great is how the two styles blend perfectly, keeping up the same pace all the way throughout the gameplay. And it really lives up to its name, Velocity with fast-paced, dynamic gameplay. 
Now that was pretty much it for our list of under $5 eShop deals for this week. Now don't forget that if there's any game you would really like me to do a highlight video on, please leave your suggestion down below in the comments. On top of it, it will automatically enter you in the giveaway. Also, I want to take a couple of seconds to really thank my channel supporters. Their investment in the channel is really appreciated and helps us grow a ton. And lastly, on the way out, don't forget, as I said at the beginning of the video, to please hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future content comes out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.